guys, so I thought we could have a look at our learning outcome of the chemical world number two. So we've talked about the atomic nature of matter, how it moves. We've talked about changes of state, so going from a solid to a liquid. We've discussed physical changes and chemical changes. Um, but now we're going to have a look at separations of mixtures. Very simple picture here it gives us an idea of how we could separate a solid from a liquid. You can see we do these things in our house every single day. So our learning intention is to describe how to flute filter paper. We're going to talk about filtration, label the substances um, as filtrate and residue, and describe how to carry out a filtration. As you can see here, these are very simple circles of filter paper. Now filter paper is fabulous. It's kind of like what we'd use as a coffee filter. Um, but in science and in chemistry, the little holes between the pieces of paper are really, really tiny. Um, so much so that you cannot see them with the naked eye. So if we were to make fluted filter paper, what we would need is a piece of filter paper. Um, and we'll have a look at this here. So you take a piece of filter paper and you'd fold it in half and fold it in half again. Guys, if you have coffee filters at home, maybe your parents might let you guys have a go at doing this yourselves. So into quarters, you fold it. Then you would fold it into eights. So you would have eight different lines on your circular filter paper. Now, all you do is between each section, bring them together and fold them. It's very, very simple. So you go the whole way around with this, all the way around until you have kind of a zigzaggy shape of filter paper. That would go into what we can see here to be a filter funnel and into a conical flask. Now, how could you separate a bucket full of sand and water? Well, if you think about just in your house, you could try different things. So for example, you know, when you're separating your pasta and your water, if you cook, guys, you should be cooking, and um, <clears throat> you would use a colander. Well, in this case, we can't use a colander because the sand is quite fine and it would go through the little holes. So what we would use is filter paper. So when we separate an insoluble solid, so an insoluble solid is something that does not dissolve in a liquid, we would use a method called filtration. So as you can see here, we have muddy water and we're pouring it into a filter funnel with filter paper. Now the filtrate, or in this case the water, passes through the filter paper because the molecules are much smaller than the holes in the filter paper and can actually pass through. And the filtrate or the mud would remain as the residue on the filter paper. So guys, that's very simple. That's our filtration. We've talked about how to flute filter paper, defining what filtration is. Remember, you need your keywords. So your residue, your um, solvent passing through and your residue. We talked about a filtrate residue and how to carry out a filtration. So that's a very in brief introduction to filtration. Any questions, just let me know.